splashes in the background while this is going on. And it's rolling. Okay. Action. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Don McClure. I'm the administrator for the Pennsylvania Off-Highway Vehicle Association here in beautiful northeastern Pennsylvania, Mastope uh, Resort and uh, Development. It's my understanding from my colleague today, Sheldon Longer, that uh, Masthope was founded in 1978. There are 1,300 homes here, 28 miles of paved road, and the purpose of this uh, village is to combine the important, uh, to combine uh, ski activity in the winter with ATV operation in the summer. They have a fantastic and unique model for operating ATVs here, and we want to hear from Sheldon how it works. Uh, this system works here at Masto. Now, Sheldon, how many ATVs are registered here with this uh, Right this now, there's 630. 630. And how do you manage all that? Well, first thing, everybody's got to register every year. Uh, they have to keep their insurance up to date. Uh, they have to keep their DCNR plate up to date. Okay. Um, over the years, now, I bought my first... ATV out here in 1991, and it's been going on that long. There were very few ATVs at that time, okay? And it built over the years, um, and so we started adding rules. Um, we have a public safety department that's 24-7. Um, they are like a police force, they are on. Um, they also do uh, first aid, emergency first aid. Of course, at best, an ambulance is 10 minutes away. Uh, so, so these are people who will respond to ATV accidents on the property or any other healthcare emergency. Right. Is that any, correct? Right. Wow. All right. And uh, we have some very strict rules. We follow a lot of the state guidelines uh, with regard to rules on the ATVs. Um, we have we've changed some of the rules a little bit. Um, some of it is that uh, although the state allows eight-year-olds, we won't allow it. It has to be ten at least to ride here, mainly because it's on roads. Uh, we do have uh, ATV areas. We have a training area. Um, off the training area, we also have a technical trail for them to ride on uh, where they can't get up a lot of speed. speed. Okay, good. Um, our public safety really enforces all our rules. Um, they give citations uh, with ATV rules. There are no warnings. They immediately get a citation for any infraction. So you have a strict, uh, a strict set of rules. You enforce those rules. There are, when people come to live here and register an ATV, they are provided the rules so they know what is required of them. They have to sign a paper, you know, when they're when they're registering that they read the rules. Some of them don't, <laughs> uh, but we. Then what happens? Yeah, uh, they have an infraction and get uh, a summons. Okay. Uh, now here, uh, their fines they run from 100 to 300 dollars. 100 to 300 dollars, yeah. um, and they must pay them. Uh, because otherwise they lose their ability to use the amenity. Everybody has an ID card with a barcode on it and access to any uh, amenity here, pool, lake, uh, stables, ski slope. Uh, they have to be a member in good standing to be able to use it. And that's updated on a daily basis. So if they get an infraction and don't pay, Within a day, they can't get into any of the uh, amenities. Well, that's an absolute hammer. But the but the uh, importance here is that you're using or you're allowing ATV operation on your on your road system, yep. and it works. You know, there are many uh, organizations. There are. Uh, uh, townships and uh, other areas throughout the state where they say there is no way to enforce and therefore we're not going to allow ATV operation and you're telling me and you're telling everybody who's watching that you have figured out how to make the system work. We, we just enforce all the rules. Um, in fact one of the rules that people have a problem with is the fact that uh, 
at dusk, no ATVs on the roads. Okay, and they will get a citation if they're on the road. Even you know to that extent. So where do we go to learn more about what you uh, do here and how you operate? Should they call the state association or should they uh, call you? How do you want to be? Uh, um, you know, if anybody wants any information, we can give it to them. Um, we have, uh, you know, our rules are printed. We have a property owner's manual with all of the rules. And we have a lot of rules. Uh, but we have three pages for ATVs, UTVs, and golf clubs. Very good. So, and we allow all of them on the road. So there you have it, folks. We can have peaceful coexistence between homeowners and in a development and ATV operation. But the clear uh, message from Sheldon Longer is define those rules and enforce those rules. And that's how you have a system that works for ATV operators. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you. Bye now.